Dave woke up feeling refreshed, better than he had in weeks, perhaps because this was the start of a very special day. As Dave brushed his teeth and waited for his co-worker Tom to arrive, he felt a swell of nerves, but mostly excitement. <laughs> you gotta take a look at the stuff. Any of it? What? Oh shoot! Uh... For the first time in a long while, Dave couldn't wait to get back to work. Uh, who's that? You know how I've been depressed recently, and they they sent me away and got me in touch with a counselor. Yeah. Well, this is what my counselor suggested. It's called. Outside narration, you, you get your thoughts and your feelings out into the open. Oh, huh. never heard of it. So he follows you around everywhere you go, narrating your life out loud? Dave was growing bored with Tom's inability to grasp this relatively simple concept. Then again, Tom had never really been the sharpest tool in the shed. Hey, wait, what? Why would you say that? I can't control what my narrator says. Is he going to be doing this at work? Dave was beginning to believe Tom might never grasp the concept. Perhaps if there was more time, he could drop some sort of a diagram. But they were already late for work. I'm going to start the car now. Cool. Dave tore into his work like a man possessed. What was once boring and mundane now seemed full of infinite possibility. Could I have a word? Uh, sure, Mr. Greenwald. I meant without, uh, you know. I, actually, my narrator has to be with me at all times. It's um, part of my therapy. Uh-huh. About that, see, there have been some complaints. From who? Well, uh, not really at liberty to say. Now, I don't know the specifics of this arrangement, and we certainly value the needs of Dave our Dave didn't like his boss. He found him to be a pompous ass. Uh, the needs of our employee. As his boss continued to drone on, Dave became increasingly bored. He started to imagine what it would feel like to take his keyboard and smash it across the tiny smug man's face. Okay, that's not... I'm gonna have to talk to HR about this. My counselor was provided by HR. It was their idea, but... Feel free to speak with them if you don't believe me. I will. I will most certainly do that. Dave doubted his boss would actually check with HR. More than likely, he would scurry back into his office only to emerge later to pick on another defenseless target in yet another sad, desperate attempt to inflate his ego. I'm uh, glad we got that sorted out. No way. You just told off Mr. Greenwald. That was awesome. Now, Greenwald at this point, he is fired up, man. He is red. He looks like he's going to explode. And then he said he's going to smash him in the face with the keyboard. <laughs> there he is. That was so brave. Uh, it was nothing, really. Dave couldn't believe Hannah just congratulated him. He'd been waiting for a moment like this, an opening to finally tell her how he felt about her. I... I didn't know you felt that way. Well, I really like you, and... I'd like to take you to coffee sometime, if that's okay with you. 
please say yes because this is really awkward. I'd like that. No freaking way. Oh, this is so good. I'm so happy for you, man. <laughs> oh, man, man. You gotta see this poodle video. Yeah, this thing it just keeps jumping. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. No, I, I wish I wasn't allergic. Yeah, totally. All right, I, I, I gotta go. Bye-bye. How'd it go, man? It was great. It was really great. Surprise! I got a narrator, too. Tom was feeling pretty good. He was also feeling kind of hungry. Whoa! I am kind of hungry. <laughs> How did it know that? You can't have a narrator. There's nothing wrong with you. Actually, I figured out maybe I was depressed and just didn't know it. So corporate set me up with one of these. I am loving it so far. You're not depressed, Tom. Yeah, I am. Just last night, I was watching Rocky on TNT, and I started getting all teary-eyed. Everyone cries at Rocky. That doesn't mean... You can't just... Dave couldn't quite articulate why he didn't want his friend Tom to have a narrator. Something about it just bothered him. I thought you'd be happy for me, man. I gotta get back to work. Dave was feeling upset and tense and figured he'd relieve that tension as he usually did by jerking off in the office bathroom. I'm not gonna do that. As Dave hurried into the bathroom to masturbate, he hoped his co-workers would believe his lie. Dave sat stewing about the recent events at work. Things had certainly taken an unexpected turn. Most of all, he wondered why Hannah hadn't returned any of his calls. Did she not have a good time yesterday? Did he do something wrong? Hey, Hannah. Oh, hey, Dave. <laughs> What's going on? Corporate decided to give every employee their own narrator. It's company policy now. Cool, huh? Well, I gotta go. Hannah wasn't sure whether one day with Dave required an official breakup. She figured it was probably okay if she just avoided him until he gets the message. What? Tom had been feeling hungry, but he was no longer feeling hungry since he was eating a delicious banana. Eric hoped today he would finally get that promotion. It certainly helped that most of his co-workers were incompetent retards. I don't imagine how good it would feel to walk in here with a shotgun and kill every single last person in this place. Aparentemente Diego cree que su narrador está loco. All Dave really wanted was to feel special, unique for a change. Now he was back to feeling empty and small. He wondered how everything had gone downhill so fast. He wondered if it was too late for traditional therapy. But most of all, he wondered if the voice he kept hearing inside of his head would ever just shut the hell up! Every morning, Tom's turn to go home. Wonder why he ever talked to Dave in the first place.